Hello, welcome back to the Knitting Expert podcast. My name is Mina. This is hundred and this is episode one hundred and forty-seven, part two. This is the spinning segment. I have a basket of or a bucket tub thing of spinning to chat with you guys about. There is some spins in progress. There are some. There's a lot of finished spinning, and yes. So let's get to it. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I sat down to podcast. It's been about a month. Um, so I just finished, um, I just finished spinning. I just finished, finished. I just finished filming. <laughs> oh, it's one of those days. I just finished filming the knitting portion of the podcast, which is the first part. And now we're gonna sit down and chat about the spinning portion of the podcast. I have my notebook here because a lot of my hand spun has not been labeled yet. And honestly, I think some of this stuff I've already spoken about on the podcast and I just can't remember. So we will go over it again quite quickly. Um, these three, I don't know if I've spoke, I mean, I'm pretty sure I haven't spoken about this on the podcast because I didn't publish the video for this until after I last podcasted, but these two, I can't remember. So this one, sorry, was some gray Corydell that I dyed with some food coloring and then I spun up and I did it as a, um, a chain ply to maintain the gradient and I ended up with um, 104 grams, 182 yards or 167 meters. I am really sorry if I'm repeating myself if you've heard this already but I'm trying to do it quickly. So then we have this one. Um, this was a mirror dyed gradient that I um, that I dyed with food coloring. I chain plied it. I ended up with 131 grams and 270 yards or 246 meters, which is interesting because I generally thought I would have gotten more yardage out of this. It's not as thin as I was going for, but it's definitely not as thick as the yardage suggests it is. So I guess the grist is quite low on this one or it's quite dense. Um, and then I spun this Superwash Polworth by Witchcrafty Lady and uh, once again is 54 grams and I got 86 yards, 79 meters and that's this thicker, thicker uh, skein. And then the thinner skein I got, I had 53 grams and I got 197 yards or 180 meters. So quite the difference between the two. It was an experiment to show the difference between how the colors work up on a um, in a skein of your finished yarn from fiber, uh, depending on how thick or thin you spin it. Then I had this lovely gorgeousness from Spin City UK, which again, I have another dedicated video on this one. Um, I had two braids and I um, broke them down and I did a two ply fractal out of it. And this was kind of like a, for fun, I wasn't going for specific sort of weight or even consistency. I wanted something slightly thick and thin, um, a little bit less, you know, trying to be perfect. Um, spinning for me is really a, um, a for fun thing because my knitting is my work and I love it, but sometimes it's just nice to work on something without having to think, if that makes sense. And so I had 213 grams and I got 402 yards was 368 meters and it's like a worsted Aran weight which was kind of what I expected by the time I'd finished um, and yeah it's really lovely merino tensile um, fiber then <coughs> I picked up a bag of odds and ends from into the world at um, Rhinebeck and I split them up into different um, pairings of colors that I thought would go well together and then each of the little like little nuggets one of them had three nuggets in it just because there was an odd number overall um each of the little nuggets i um split down into thin strips and i spun them on my turkish drop spindle that i picked up at rhinebeck as well this one and this drop spindle this turkish drop spindle is by true creations and it's their um midi spindle in the white oak which is 20 grams or 0.7 ounces in weight so quite fairly lightweight um, and so I ended up with these eight mini skeins I'm so happy with them they are just perfect and I'm just so chuffed with how these turned out so I spun all the singles on the drop spindle but I plied them all on my wheel just because it's quicker 
and I don't necessarily enjoy plying as much on the drop spindle because it's so slow but um, and I like to get a good amount of twist into the ply so but for the singles it was really fun to use the Turkish spindle it was I was actually able to get a really nice sort of consistent um, spin and so each of these mini skeins range from 13 grams to 22 grams and that's the thickest one is 22 grams is this one and they range anywhere from 50 yards up to just over 100 yards in length so based on the weight they all came up to be about the same sort of thickness anywhere from fingering to a sport weight and i'm really happy with these i'm so chuffed with these and because there are eight i have the perfect number to do a um where did i put them where did I put them? to do a block a pinwheel scrap blanket block out of all of these so once i wind these up i will be knitting a block for layla's blanket out of them and then the rest i will be doing something else with uh what are the leftovers i'll be doing something else with because it's just such a fun project and i'm really happy with how these are turned out and i think those little odds and ends those little nuggets of fiber are great for the spindle because they aren't huge amounts like i said anywhere from 13 to 20 grams which is just the perfect amount for spinning on a drop spindle without feeling like it's taking forever because the next project I'm going to tell you about feels like it's taking forever so I had another braid of fiber it was actually two 50 gram bits of top um, put together uh, from crafty from not crafty sorry from cats and sparrow UK and it's a divine duo um, and it's called wouldn't it be lovely lava lee like lava lee uh so there's 50 grams of it is this colorway which is lava lamp which is a corydale merino bfl and bamboo so it's this lovely red and orange color and then the other 50 grams is called eliza doolittle and it's this beautiful um corydale merino and tussa silk in greens purples and oranges and I'm spinning these on the Turkish drop spindle and so far I have done one little turtle of the Eliza Doolittle do colour and I've done one little turtle of the lava lamp colour. The idea is that this is at least what they told me when I went to uh, when I bought this fibre is that these were designed to be spun and then plied together I'm not sure I'm going to do that. I think I might just ply them on themselves and keep the colours separate and then knit sort of like opposites, assuming I get enough yardage. Um, I might do uh, socks with like opposing cuffs, heels and toes out of them, which I think would be quite fun. But um, I've got still got a ways to go with that one. But that's probably going to be something I work on over the advent season this Christmas just because it's a really fun thing to work on in the evenings if I'm not in the mood to knit but just want to spin for a little bit it's a great sort of in-between project thing um, another thing I worked on recently was um, I've been asked for an event next year that I can't announce yet what it is but um, because it hasn't been officially announced yet but once it does I can tell you more about it but I've been asked to teach a how to spin on a drop spindle class so for that i needed a cover photo for the class and so i took out a bit of fiber that i had and i spun it on my drop spindle to and then applied a bit and then had another bit spun up just to be able to like lay out the photo and create the picture for the class um and so then i did that and then i spun the rest of it on the wheel and so this is actually a chain ply yeah, this, this one's a chain ply that I did on the wheel. And these two I spun on the drop spindle, but then I think I applied one on, I applied this one on the drop spindle and I applied this one on the wheel. Um, yeah, just because. And uh, just to get it done. <laughs> and so yeah, I haven't measured yardages on these. I haven't washed these ones yet. These ones still need to be washed and finished. Um, and the only other project I have on the go right now is a braid of fiber optic yarns that I picked up at Rhinebeck. This is the Bitter Lime to Rose um, colorway. So it went from like a nice green out to purple. This is what it looks like in the on the bobbin. There is another couple of layers under this so you can't see all the colors. 
but it's a merino uh, tencel 50 50 merino tencel blend and the tencel is all of the white that you can see in the fiber and this has actually been sitting on the bobbin now completed like the singles have been spun and sat on the bobbin now for a couple of weeks just because i have not had the time to sit down and chain ply it so what i will probably do is after i finish recording today i will probably sit down and chain ply this before i have to go pick up my daughter from nursery because i really want to really want to get this off the off the bobbin and uh yeah that's it for spinning that's it for what i've been working on and what i have on the go right now i have plans for some other things that i want to spin i have some core spinning that i want to play around with and i will be sharing some of that with you guys and also um i have a bat and a braid that i want to um spin up they're the same colorway but one but i have one um 100 grams of it as a braid and 100 grams of the same colorway as a bat preparation just to see how the two different preps spin up differently which i think would be really quite fun um and uh and yeah so i'm not sure i was planning on doing sort of like a dedicated video for those so maybe i will put off spinning those until the new year where i have time to do a dedicated video for each or maybe I'll do the core spinning as part of Vlogmas and then leave the other one to do in the new year so I can do a dedicated video on it. Um, or maybe I'll just pull something else out of my cupboard of fiber and start something, a different spin altogether. We'll see, I have no idea. I do have some yak fiber that I got from Hilltop Cloud earlier this year that I'm really interested in playing around with, but because the fibers are so short, I'm gonna have a hard time spinning it as is. So I'm thinking what I might do is to blend it with another fiber, um, like another wool fiber to sort of mellow it out a bit and make it easier to spin and spin it from Rolag's long draw style. So we'll see. I'm excited to try it out and see what I end up with. Um, and I also have some spinning kits to prep. So I should have some spindles on the way. They, I think they were sent out over the weekend. So they should be on their way. I have this bag full of fiber that I've already prepped. So these are gonna be um, the tops that go in with the kits. Um, last For the last round of kits, I dyed all of the tops myself using food coloring. Don't have time to do that now. So I bought pre-dyed tops to include in the kits. Um, lots of different colorways and options. There are some dyed ones, there are some um, Sort of natural colored ones um, some of them I know the fiber content for others I don't so the ones that I do know the fiber content for I've included the ones that I don't say mystery on them because I can't be 100% sure I mean this one is beautiful look at that um, so I think this time round there's gonna be if I'm not mistaken 24 kits going into the shop 24 or 25 I'm not 100 percent sure but um once the spindles arrive and I make sure I have the right number of everything I'm going to sit down and start making the row lags for the kits and the little bats that go into the kits so I'll be I'll be sharing that process with you during vlogmas as well um just yeah lots of fun things happening this month we've got a few other Christmassy things planned and um yeah that's it really I hope you guys enjoy um enjoyed this episode um, and yeah, I'm trying to think what else there was I wanted to tell you guys. I'm pretty sure there's something I'm completely blanking on. Oh, I drew prize winners for the spin and make along. So if you took part in that, then make sure you check out that video. I also announced the winner of the other braid of this Polworth fiber that I spun, um, in the other spinning video, in the spinning video for this. Um, I announced a giveaway and there was a prompt in that video and I picked a winner. So that's announced in that prize winners video as well. So make sure you check that out. And um, yeah, oh geez, I think that's it. All right, take care. Thank you for joining me today. I will see you guys again soon. Take care, bye.